Mason Evans was a school teacher and principal in McMinn County, Tennessee in the 1840s. He was also a member of the local militia, but it was his love story that captured everyone's attention. Mason was captivated by a young woman he'd hired to teach. The two soon fell in love, but it was not to be, for she was the daughter of a wealthy doctor and businessman who deemed Mason an unacceptable suitor. Despite their talk of marriage, her father cut the romance short, forcing his daughter to reject the man who loved her. What followed was a decision that would change Mason's life forever. He disappeared into the rugged terrain of the Great Smoky Mountains, finding solace on Star Mountain in a home he made in Panther Cave. There he remained for the next four decades. For 40 years, Mason Evans lived a solitary life, away from society, amidst the raw beauty of nature. Mason chose a life of seclusion, surviving on nature's bounty of nuts, berries, and, yes, rattlesnake meat. Occasionally, he would raid farms for chickens to supplement his diet. His only encounters with people were punctuated with gunfire, as farmers protected their livestock from wolves, bears, and, hmm, yeah, hermits. Mason's solitary world was disrupted when he spotted soldiers dressed in gray engaging in skirmishes with American troops. As a former militiaman, he feared the consequences of desertion and vanished deeper into hiding during the Civil War, remaining undetected. But change was on the horizon. The Smoky Mountains saw the rise of grand hotels, including the prestigious White Cliff Springs Hotel, located close to Mason's dwelling in Panther Cave. Initially uncomfortable and angered by the hotel's proximity, Mason soon saw a silver lining. You see, with hundreds of guests there, they needed food. As did he, so he devised a plan to secure some of it for himself. Taking a direct approach, Mason struck up a friendship with the hotel's cooks. They left buckets of leftovers hanging from trees, ensuring Mason had his share of sustenance. A northern newspaper man arrived at the White Cliff Springs Hotel one day with a grand idea to establish a newspaper in McMinn County. However, hard news didn't captivate folks. Sensationalized gossip, on the other hand, sold like hotcakes. And what better story than the life of Mason Evans, known to them as the Wild Man of the Smokies? The paper spun tales, painting Mason as a threat, even reporting false accounts of his attacks, a narrative that led to a police hunt in 1890 culminating in Mason's harrowing capture and public display in the county jail. People from all corners of McMinn County flocked to the jail, gawking at and tormenting the wild man. Mason, terrified and overwhelmed, sought escape from the crowds, breaking out of jail and fleeing into the night. Realizing he couldn't return to Panther Cave or the hotel's vicinity, Mason wandered through the mountains for days before seeking refuge with his brother-in-law, who provided shelter on his land. For two years, Mason lived in solitude until his passing on January 11, 1892, discovered frozen on the mountainside by his brother-in-law. Mason Evans, the hermit who spent 40 years in the wilderness, found his final rest in Hickory Grove Cemetery, laid to rest in a simple wooden casket with a marker bearing his name and this poignant inscription, The Hermit. 40 years in the wilderness.